Hello everyone and welcome back. So today we are going to be building the Image Pro web application. As you can see, this is the sign up page really clean. I'm using Talvin and also the UI to make it really, really clean, right? And also I'm going to show you how to create private road and also the public road. As you can see here, when I go to the localhost 5173, right? And if I hit enter, as you can see, it's direct me to the sign up page, right? So let's uh, sign up right now. So I'm going to say John at mail.com and also the password. I'm going to say 123123. When I click sign up, we should be able to see one uh, user login in here. So let's click refresh. And here we go. We log in right now. There's no image in here because we don't yet upload that. So as you can see here, we should have one user that log in. This one here, right? John at mail.com. Great. So in here, if I trying to go to the slash sign up, but I have already signed up, when I click that, it should be direct me to go to this home route, right? Because now we have already have a user. So there's no reason why I should go back to the sign up page. And also we have log out here and but the main concept for this video is how that we can upload image with firebase firestore so as you can see here i have three three service that we use here first is authentication and firestore firestore is basically when i want to upload image it should be uploaded into the firestore let me try here and i'm going to select this hinata one and i'm going to click upload and as you can see, we have loading and then we should be able to see the image right here. And as you can see here, when I refresh, we should be able to see the link that represent the Hinata. Uh, as you can see, it's inside the images and we have this image right here, right? And also we are going to store this link into the Firestore, Firebase. As you can see here, we have the images. Then here we have created at image URL and also the user email. You can see here we have the load by John at mail.com. So let's try to upload another image. I'm going to upload uh, maybe this dog here. I'm going to click upload. As you can see, we have loading and then we have the dog here, right? I'm going to log out and I'm going to sign up with another account. So let's do that. So I'm going to say John at dev.com password i'm gonna say one two three one two three sign up and as you can see we see two image because john have already upload image in this application right so i'm going to upload another image which is hinata 2 here i'm going to upload and now we have three image great as you can see here the upload by chan and this one by john this one by john Right, pretty cool, right? And when I go back to authentication here, we should be able to see two a user right now. All right, that's we are going to be building, guys. Hopefully, this is helpful for you just starting out learning React and also Firebase. So let's get started. Let's open a terminal here, and I'm going to generate React with Fit. So let's open fit.js.dev. Click Get Started. Go to down here. We are going to copy this command and go to the terminal, paste that right here. And for the application name, I'm going to say image dash pro. Hit enter. It should give us question. So let's select React. And also, I want to use TypeScript. You can use JavaScript if you want, right? Let's click uh, TypeScript. And here, I'm going to say npm install. Oh, we need to cd into the image pro, right? And in here, I'm going to say npm install. All right, so it's done. So let's open that into Visual Studio Code. You can say code and then dot. All right, so now let's open a terminal here. I'm going to say npm run dev to open the development server. It's going to open the localhost 5173. All right, this is what we have by default. So let's go back to source. And I'm going to, let's go to main here. Uh, I think it's okay. Let's go back to the app.dsx. What we need to do here is I'm going to remove everything here. Let's remove that. And for now, I just want to put h1 and say app here. Let's remove the use state. 
and everything up here and also the app here i'm going to remove that the app css and also the index.css i'm going to remove that as well so now we should be able to see just app here so what we need to do next is we need to install a daisy ui so let's go to get started here let's go to framework guides and we are going to select fit this one here so let's click fit and i'm going to copy all this command and open terminal and let's see paste that here npm install tailwind post css auto prefixer and we initialize the tailwind css here now we need to copy this and we should be able to see one file here called tailwind.config this one here right and we are going to paste everything here right come from here and also i'm going to copy this index.css is that here and now we can be able to use tailwind but before that i just want to install this ui let's go to c components here and go to install to install that is pretty simple we need to just say npm install here so paste that here npm install a daisy ui all right great and what we need to do next is we need to use this plugin into the tailwind config let's go to tailwind config and we are going to paste that right here but as you can see require here it's require is not defined so i think we need to use import here so we can say import uh daisy ui from daisy ui and we are going to put the daisy ui right here npm run dev here let's close the terminal and also now let's trying to use the maybe this button here just to make sure this is working so i'm going to copy that and paste that down here right let's go back here as you can see we have this button here pretty cool everything working great all right so what we need to do next next we need to install a react router dom to to working with the router so let's go back again into terminal and here we are going to say npm install react dash router dash dom it's going to be installed react router dom version 6 i think let's go back to package here and see as you can see here it's uh, 6.11 we can see npm run dev again great and now what we can do is inside a source i'm going to create a folder called pages basically now we just have two pages the first thing is sign up and then home so let's create here we have home.tsx and also we have sign up.tsx right so let's do rafce like that and also inside a home rafce so now we can import that right here but i'm going to wrap this main.tsx with browser router first so you can say browser router just make sure you import from react router dom up here right and now let's go back to app and here we are going to wrap everything here with roads like that and inside this road we have our individual road so we can say road just make sure you import up here right and here for individual road for the first time is basically the home i'm going to say path for slash and for the element that we need to render in this for slash is basically home so we can say home like that so now we can just copy and paste this is should be the sign up and also the element that we need to render here is basically sign up so now let's try to the browser here and as you can see for the first last we rendered the home it's already correct and if i go to sign up it should be render the sign up so now let's styling the sign up component a little bit let's go back to the daisy ui and i'm going to let's select a hero section here right sometimes it's not working i'm not sure that my internet connection or or the daisy ui uh website here but anyway it's working so now let's click this hero with form i'm going to click the jsx and let's copy everything let's go back to the sign up and in here instead of div i want to render a form here 
and the action I'm gonna remove and also I'm going to I'm going to paste everything here okay that we have already copied from the base UI hero here so let's now see what we have it's really bigger so let's reset and here we go okay pretty cool and now there's a couple things that we need to change here so for this one here it should be the application name for now i'm gonna say image row for this description i'm gonna change that to maybe something like sign up to share your photos uh, let's say to the world just like that and here we go and also what next we need to change here i think the forget password we don't need to use that let's remove it and also this login i'm gonna change that to sign up all right everything look working perfectly fine but now i'm going to put this image pro in the top here right let's scroll up and there's something here i'm going to change which is large flex row reverse now i'm going to remove that and this is what we have and also i'm going to put this text into the center so let's remove the, this large text left and also this card here i'm going to remove this and i'm going to set the width but i'm going to specify the small size small screen into i want to say width into 30 ram so we can say 30 ram like so now when i save and this is what we have and basically you can add another password here which is one from password but i'm not going to do that because i'm not going to really focus in the ui right now all right everything look working and now let's go back to home and here we are going to create a two component basically the first thing is the nav bar and then the upload form and then down here we have the image gallery so let's do inside a source i'm going to create component call let's do components and set this components folder i'm going to create navbar so you can say navbar.dsx should be capital n navbar right and also i'm going to create the upload form let's say upload form.dsx and also let's create the image gallery so you can say image gallery.dsx great so in here i'm going to say rifce and also inside of form rifce and also inside the navbar rifce and now i'm going to close everything and now i just want to open the home so let's open home where is the home this one and in here what i'm gonna do let's do diff and inside this diff i'm going to render navbar also down here it's basically the upload form and also the image gallery it's like that so now we should be able to see navbar upload form and image gallery great so now let's go back to form form here and i'm going to add class name in this if let's say class name i'm going to say the maximal width i'm going to set that to 4xl and also the mx i'm going to set that to auto and now let's go back to navbar and in this navbar i just want to copy and paste code from daisy ui to make it really simple so let's scroll down and where is the navbar this one and i'm going to use this simple thing here so let's just copy that let's go back here and paste that in here just like that so now we should be able to see this navbar so down here i'm going to add a button this button have a text called log out and as you can see it's going to be right here i'm going to let's do display flags here and i'm going to say let's just say justify uh, between all right it's working cool and also here i don't want to see this hover and the button styling right there so let's remove this button and button cost and i'm gonna say uh font to bold and also uh, i'm gonna say maybe underline 
let's say underline so here it should be gallery pro with uh, some icon okay this camera icon so now let's style in the upload form so in here i'm going to remove this upload form text and inside the div i'm going to put form and let's do form and also inside this form i'm going to put the input styling with type file and i hope i can find that right here file input and i'm going to select this file input with border so let's uh, copy that and paste that in here great so now we should be able to see nice input here so now let's put that into the center and i'm going to do side by side here and in this diff i'm going to add class name call let's do text center margin top to 10. all right so inside this form i'm going to say uh let's do class name and this class name is basically display flex and also the items i'm gonna say center right center and also the flex should be flex column and also the gap i'm gonna set that to eight all right because i'm going to put a button down here inside the form so we can say button this button have a text called upload like that and i'm going to put some rocket icon great so inside in here i'm gonna say class name and i'm gonna do etn and also gap i'm gonna say three should be gap dash three like so all right so here i think we don't have the gap because we need to wrap this rocket here inside a span so now we have the space right so now let's go back to the image gallery and here i'm going to use cart so let's uh, select cart here all right so i'm going to select uh where's the simple thing here this one i think so let's copy that and here i'm going to paste that right here just like that and also the source here i'm going to remove that for now here we go and now we should be able to see nice card here but i'm going to wrap that with display grid so i'm going to say display grid as a medium grid column three and also the justify i'm going to say center and also the gap let's say four the margin top i'm going to say 10. i'm going to remove this heading too and also this button down here and basically this p tag here is a half text called upload by like that and also down here i'm gonna put a uh, like span and i'm gonna say as it created on nice i think we're done with all the styling we are going to add some uh detail styling letter but for now we need to create the firebase uh we need to working with the firebase after you log in into console firebase you on this firebase project and in here you can create your project so for my previous project it's going to be this image gallery and for now i'm going to create a new name here i'm going to say image gallery uh maybe i'm going to say youtube right you can give any name you want basically i'm going to click continue and for the google analytic i'm gonna say disable like let's create a create project and let's wait a couple of minutes here all right so it's done let's click continue and now we need to create the web application because we need to create a web app right so in here we need to put any name you want so i'm gonna say uh, let's say gallery dash pro right and let's click register app and here as you can see we need to install the firebase so we can just copy that and open the terminal and in here we can say npm install firebase great and in here what we need to do is just copy everything here let's copy that and we need to create a folder inside a source i'm going to give a name firebase and inside this firebase i'm going to create a file called let's do config.ts 
So let's paste that right here. So let's run the server again, npm run dev. And basically guys, you can put all this value here into the environment variable, but we are gonna do it later. For now, we are gonna back to the console Firebase because we are going to enable the authentication. Let's go back to build and I'm going to click authentication here. So let's click get started. And as you can see, there's a lot of options that you can choose here, but I'm going to select this email and password. I'm going to enable that. Like, let's click save. And now we have everything look like this, right? And also I'm going to, let's go to the documentation of the Firebase. Let's say Firebase docs. And I'm going to open this uh, Firebase dot google.com slash docs and i'm going to select build and then here let's click the authentication and also i'm going to select this web here in the left side let's click get started right let's scroll down basically uh we need to import get out from firebase out and we need to initialize the app here inside the get out so let's go back to the config dot ds here and here i'm going to say cons out set that equals to i'm going to say get out from firebase slash out right here i'm going to remove all this command i think there we go and i'm going to put this app inside the get out function just like that and down here i'm going to export the out just like that great so how to use that is pretty simple let's scroll down and to sign up new user we can do something like this we need to just use this create user with email and password we need to put this out which is this variable here and also the email and also the password so now let's create a folder inside a source called context so i'm going to say context inside a context i'm going to create a file called out.ds I'm going to say out.tsx here right so the idea is very simple when user sign up in this component here i need to the value which is the user and the is loading is available to entire our app which is all of this component here is available to access the user so that's why i want to create context api here i want to put my user and also the log the loading inside the context api so in here the first thing what we need to do is let's create the context, right? So in here, I'm gonna do export variable call out context. Set that equals to create context come from React. And also inside in here, I'm going to put the default value. So here I'm gonna say user is null. And also the, I'm gonna do is loading is also false, just like that. And also down here, I'm going to create the provider. So we can say comment here. Let's do provider. So I'm going to say export cons. Let's say provider. Or I'm going to I'm going to do out provider. So that equals to it should be get the children as a props here. So we can grab here the children like so. Right. And down here, I'm going to return. Let's do out context dot provider. We need to wrap the children inside the out context dot provider. So we can say children like so. And as you can see, the children here have of uh, some type error here because they have uh, any type. We need to fix that. So I'm going to do interface. Let's give a name out provider props. And this I'm gonna say children. And this children is basically react dot react element. Just like that. And we need to put this uh, function component and then we need to put the out provider props inside in here. And as you can see here, there's no error. Great. We get this warning here because we need to put value, right? And this value here, it should be same with this initial create context that we need to create up here. All right, so now let's do here. 
So in here, I'm going to create state call. Let's give a name user and also the function, which is set user. So that equals to use state by default it should be no right and also i'm going to create the is loading here so let's do is loading and also set is loading so now let's create a variable called value so that it goes to gonna be user and also the is loading and now we need to put the value here into this value right here and as you can see we have some warning here that's because uh, i think this user here is should be have a type call user user is going to be come from firebase slash out and also or i'm going to say null and also we still get the error here because i think the is loading for this one is going to be false right and also the type here it should be a uh, boolean like that we still get an error what we're doing wrong here yeah that is because here the user it should be uh have a type user or null we cannot create like so i think so we need to create the interface so i'm gonna do interface i'm gonna give a name out context type so out context type this is going to be a uh, object let's do that and the user it should be have a type user or a null and also the is loading it should be half type let's do is loading it should be half type boolean right and i'm going to put the out context type inside this create context let's wrap that right here i'm going to do out type out context type and i'm going to remove this user here great so now the error is gone really cool and also what we need to do next is basically here i'm going to check if user already log in or not so i'm gonna go to the let's go through the manage user i think so as you can see here you can get the currently signed in user with this on out state change right so let's go back here and i'm going to run that inside a use effect so let's do use effect and in here i'm going to run that in the first time we call the context here like so and instead in here we can say cons unsubscribe unsubscribe so that it goes to we can use this on out state change we can copy that and go back here right just make sure we import that from the firebase slash out and we need to get the user and this user here basically we can set the user into user like so and also we can set the loading let's do set the is loading to false just like that and down here we can do return on subscribe but we get some warning here i'm not sure uh expect to for argument but get fun oh yeah that's because we need to put this out right here so let's uh cut this and i'm going to put the out right here and also i'm going to put the user right here after the out so now we can wrap our app.tsx here with out provider. So let's copy the out provider and I'm going to wrap everything here with out provider like so. Right? So let's put the all this road inside the out provider. And also I'm going to create a hoax. So let's create a folder called hoax inside a source. And inside this hoax, I'm going to create a file called use out.tsx. Yes. Right, so inside in here, I'm gonna do export variable call use out and so that equals to in here I just want to return use context and we need to put the out context in here come from the context that we have already created inside the context slash out. We have already imported right here. Not import but export here 
and we import that into the use out so now we can use this into our app so for example we are going to maybe use that into the home use the use out so i'm going to show you how to call the use out so here we can say cons i grab the user let's say uh, i'm doing wrong here it should be cons and set that equals to use out just like that so now if i console lock the user it should be showing null so let's go back and see what we have in the console now let's see i'm going to make it bigger and as you can see we have null the null here is basically come from the uh, context that we create here okay just by default this is a null right here right if i change that to maybe something like this it should be half this one right so basically we are going to use this use out into the protected route and also into the public route so let's just copy this and i'm going to also remove that so now let's create another folder inside a source i'm going to give a name uh routes inside of routes i'm going to create a file called let's say public wrote.psx right so in here i'm gonna do let's say rafce right and inside in here we need to use out right like that and set this return we need to check first here you can say if user is access we need to return i'm gonna do navigate let's say navigate it just come from react for the dom and if the user acts is i'm gonna navigate into the for slash and i'm gonna set the replace to true let's say true like that great so now we can use this public road into the app.tsx right here so we need to change this sign up to public root. So now we can remove that. And here we can say, say public root like so. And we need to wrap the, wait, the sign up inside the public root. We can say sign up like so. Great. So we have some warning here. There's no uh, children inside the public root. That's the beauty about the uh, type script basically so here we need to create the children just like that and now down here we need to return the children right if a user already exists we need to navigate that to the home screen but if the user doesn't sign up we need to just re return the children which is the sign up right and these children have uh, some error so let's do interface and i'm gonna give a name public road props and this is gonna be children and also the children is basically react dot react element just like that and now we can put that inside in here this is basically function component and we need to put the public road props inside in here so everything will look perfectly fine and now i just want to showing you here so if the cons let's say user set that equals to uh maybe john doe here let's save and now we know that uh now there's half a user called john doe if i go to sign up let's do sign up right if i hit enter as you can see it redirect me to the home page that's what we want right but later the user it should be come from the authentication so let's remove the cons here so now let's create the private road here so i'm going to do private road dot dsx and this is really really similar so i can just copy this paste that here and i'm going to change that to private road just like that and also the export here and also the name of the props i'm going to change that to private route props 
And now what we need to do here, if there's no user, if there's no user sign up, we need to navigate that to the sign up. So now let's go back to the app.tsx and we need to wrap this home with private road. So we can say private road or protect road. The name is up to you guys. We can say home right here. I think the better way is to set the value into the context here, I think, right? So let's just comment this use of fact and I'm going to do maybe a join here, just like that. So now if I go to sign up, as you can see, redirect me to the home. If I go to, for example, I'm gonna remove this, I set that to null. And if I go to home, we don't have user, right? If I click that, it should be redirect me to the sign up page. All right, everything look working perfectly fine. And now what we need to do is let's working with the sign up functionality. All right, so let's open the sign up inside a page right here. So first I'm going to handle all the state, which is state inside the email and state inside a password. So here I'm going to create a, let's do state here. Um, uh, let's give a name. I'm going to give a name here, email like that. And also the type here, I'm going to say string. Also the default value, it should be empty string. And also uh, I'm going to do password. So let's say password. And the password here have a type string as well. And the default value is empty string as well. Great. So now inside of this email here, I'm going to put value. The value, it should be come from the email state. Let's do email. And also here, I'm going to say on change. That equals to, I grab the event. Basically, we can run function here like so. And I want to say set email into dot target let's do target dot value and we need to put the e right here just like that and also we can just copy this and put that into the password so we can do right here is that right here this is going to be password and also set password just like that and the use state should become from react also now I'm going to console log the email and also the password just to see the value into the console. So let's refresh here. As you can see by default it's empty. By trying typing here, it should be showing the value in the console. Great, everything will work. And now we need to handle the on submit in this form. So we can do on submit. Set that equals to, I'm going to do handle submit function. We don't have yet. So let's create up here. I'm going to remove the console. Let's say cons handle submit set equals to arrow function like that. And this is going to be a sync await function because we need to uh, log in here. We need to wait until the sign up done, right? And here is like a, like a event here because I need to prevent uh, the from submission. But what is that? Basically, uh, let me show you. If I click sign up, it should be refresh the browser. I don't need that to happen. So I can say e dot prevent default here. But as you can see, e dot here doesn't have any suggestion value because we're using TypeScript. I think there's a better way to add a type here. So e is basically react dot. I'm going to do react dot from event. From eBurn is basically HTML form element. It's one. Great. So now if I do e dot, as you can see, we have a lot of suggestion. And what we need to get here is the prevent default like that. So now if I click sign up, there's no uh, refresh going on here. Great. So what I'm going to do here is let's go back to the Firebase and I'm going to looking for, um, I think we cannot find that right there. 
let's go to get start uh let's see here um create user with email and password so we need to use this function here so let's go back and we are going to use try and down here catch we catch the error and down here i just want to console or oh, i think we need to just say another state here called error so we can say error it's going to be set error and also i think string is fine so here i'm going to say set error into oh it should be uppercase e and we can say set error into error dot message just like that right so the error you should be have a type called error i think and we have some warning here is going on they're gonna fix that letter but now let's go back here we need to use this create user with email and password so let's do await create user with email and password should be come from the firebase less out and we are going to put the out here it's going to become from firebase config and also the second parameter it should be the email and then the password so we can say email and also password just like that after it's done i need to navigate that into the of course we need to import uh use navigate here so i'm going to do cons navigate navigate wait navigate set that equals to use navigate come from react brother tom and here we can say navigate into or slash because we have already signed up great so we have some warning here to fix that we need to go to the ds config and in here let's say use unknown in catch variable set that to false Right, so let's go back here and i'm going to remove the error type so everything look should be working perfectly fine and also here i just want to put error here i think so let's do if the error have a value i want to uh, render that here so let's say error just like that and now let's go back here i think everything look working so let's go back to application and as you can see here there's no user login right here right so now let's try i'm going to do john at mail should be mail.com and the password one two three one two three so now i'm going to click sign up and here we go we now on the home screen that's that's mean we have already signed up and that should be successfully working and as you can see here, if I go to users and we have john at mail.com here. Great. So now if I want to go back to sign up, let's do sign up here. If I click enter, as you can see, it will be redirect me to the home screen. Let's do that again. But as you can see, there's a couple uh, like splash here. I don't want to see that as you can see here. Let's do that again sign up as you can see there's a couple second the sign up page is right here right to fix that we need to uh let's go back to the context and let's open the out here and basically we need to render these children when the is loading is false so we can say let's scroll down and say is loading Let's do here i'm gonna do is loading and like so right so the first thing is the is loading it should be true as you can see if the is loading falls i need to render the children right so now let's go back and if i go back to sign up i hit enter as you can see there's no supplies going on right here great everything working perfectly fine and now i'm going to working with the log out button here let's go back to the documentation i think this is the better place to learn the firebase and now what we need to do is go to the manage user maybe inside the password authentication let's click that and 
uh, sign in email password this one here to sign out a user call sign out come from the Firebase slash out great so now let's go back to the component and the nav bar so in here we need to call the sign out function right so here i'm going to handle the on click event and when i click the log out button i need to run the handle log out function so let's create the handle log out function so i'm going to do here cons and the log out set that equals to arrow function and this is should be a async function as well so let's do async keyword in this function and also i'm going to put a try and catch so we can say try and then down here we can say catch we grab the error and then down here i'm going to console log the error dot message just like that and now inside this try i'm going to say await for sign out going to become from firebase slash out and just like that we need to put the out inside the sign out function like we see here as you can see great and now it should be working so let's click log out and we log out really cool when i go to home no we cannot go to home because we don't sign up right so let's sign up with another account so we can say chan at chan uh, dot com and the password and let's sign up here we go we sign up now cool now we are going to working with storage functionality i'm going to close everything and now let's go back to the firebase and i'm going to let's click the build here and click the storage let's click the get start and i'm going to select the test mode for now and click next and also my location i'm going to select the asia and i'm going to say done basically for the location you can select any location you want it doesn't matter and wait for this until finish all right so the storage now is enabled so now let's go back to the application here and what we need to do next is basically i just want to make sure that this upload button is basically will upload the file here so let's go back to the uh, components and then upload form and as you can see we don't handle any file input in this state here but we're going to create state call i'm going to do i'm going to call this selected file so we can say selected file right and also the type of the selected file it should be file or null do that null here and also by default it should be null all right so inside the input field i just want to add a on change event here so let's say on change set that equals to handle file change let's say file change let's create a function up here so we can do cons handle file change set that equals to gp tag event here and down here i'm gonna say if e dot as you can see we don't get any suggestion so the e it should be react dot change event and then here i'm gonna put the html input element like so now if i do e dot as you can see we have all the suggestion here and i'm gonna select the target target dot files if there's half a file here and e dot target let's do target dot files and the array zero have a value i need to set the selected file into e dot target dot files and the first value and we get some warning here because use state is not defined so let's import from react here we go nice and also inside the form here i need to handle the on on submit on submit set that equals to i want to say handle submit function so let's create the handle submit function here 
we can say cons and I'll submit set equals to error function and this is basically like an event and the e is basically react dot form element from event I think yeah from event and then also this is going to be HTML form element like that and here we can say prevent default so we can say e dot prevent default like so and down here what we can do we need to check if the selected you selected file have a value we need to basically here star upload the image right and down here i'm going to set selected image back to null just like that great and also inside this button i need to have type called submit for now i just want to console log the selected file when i click the button submit so let's try console log selected file here save and refresh i hope there's no error here nice if i select the image and I click upload as you can see we have the file here right the name the size the type etc great everything look working and the next thing what we need to do is basically we need to create the use storage hooks so let's go to documentation here and i'm gonna i'm going to click the storage documentation so let's see how we can use the storage in web setup here so let's click the web setup or you can just click this web right here and as you can see down here we can import the get storage from firebase slash storage and we need to initialize the get storage the app here inside the get storage function great so we can just copy this go back to the firebase config and here we can paste that right here and just import get storage from firebase slash storage and now we can import we can export the storage down here so let's go back to the documentation and see how we can store value into the storage and let's see uh, let's scroll down and i think we can just click this upload file and let's see here just want to scroll down until we get the uh, i think this one here all right uh monitor upload progress i'm going to use this one because we get the progress upload here great right and what we need to do let's create a hook called use i'm going to call this use storage dot ts and i'm going to say rrfce rate it's not going to be return a jsx it should be returning a value inside the state here so first i'm going to create state call let's do progress i'm going to say cons progress and set progress set that equals to use state by default it should be zero and the type of this progress it should be number right and i'm going to paste this couple of time and this is going to be the error so we can say error and this is should be set error for the function set error and this is going to be error type so we can say error or null and i'm going to put null as the first time which is the initial value should be null and the third thing is should be url and i'm going to say set url and this is going to be string or null let's do string or null here and the default value i'm going to say null and also the last thing is basically yeah we, ju we just need to have three uh state here and down here we need to return all this state so i'm going to do progress also the error and also the url great so inside in here i'm going to create a function called let's give a name star upload because this function here will be run when i click this handle submit here when i click the 
button upload here right let's go back here and start upload set that equals to arrow function and this function here like a file as a property this file here is basically have a type file right and inside this function i'm going to check first if the file is not access i'm going to just return nothing nothing here and if the file have value i'm going to first let's say cons basically we can see in the documentation to make our life easier so first thing we need to create the storage ref right i think we need to just copy this and go back here i'm gonna paste that right here right so the ref is should be come from the firebase storage and the storage here is should be come from the firebase config that we have already created here all right and the next thing is uh this is basically where you want to put your image for example if i want to create images folder and inside the images folder i want to put all the image that i want to upload so i can say image slash whatever the name of the uh, file here and also i'm going to use uuid to generate random file name random image name so i'm going to say npm install uuid let's install that if you don't know uuid uuid is basically package to generate a random uh, ID to use that it's pretty simple. Uh, what we need to do is just import version 4 as a UUID version 4. Let's do that up here, like so. And to use that is also pretty simple. As you can see, this UUID version 4 it should be returning random number. So this is going to be will becoming the uh, name of the image. So let's go back here. And in here, I'm going to say. I'm going to say file ID set that equals to UUID version 4. And down here, I just want to console lock the file so you can see the value here. And of course, we need to uh, return the start upload function. So now we can use that right here. So we can say star upload. Uh, yeah, we need to basically say cons we need to grab something from use storage like that and what i'm gonna get here is basically the star upload so let's run the star upload here and i'm going to put the selected file here like that great so now let's go back here and i'm going to say npm run dev and as you can see we console lock the file right here all right so let's go back and I'm going to try. So we are going to upload image and I'm going to click upload. And as you can see, we have this file here. The error is basically come from this thing here. Just don't worry about that right now. Right. Let's uh, do that again. If I upload, we have this file. Great. So what we need to do here is I'm going to get the extension of the file. So we can that we can do that by say I'm going to create a variable first. I want to give a name format file that equals to file dot type. As you can see here the type here, right? And I'm going to split. Let's say split by four slash. As you can see here the four slash, and I'm gonna get the second value which is array one here so by console lock the format file it should be get the gpack right here let's click that again uh wait there's something wrong going on here let's refresh that click the hinata one i'm going to click upload as you can see here we have the format uh file great so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to use Pactic. so let's uh use spectic here here we go and for the name here i just want to put the 
file ID. Let's do file ID and also dot any format file. So we can put the format file here. All right. So this is basically will becoming something like uh, images slash a random number come from UID and dot whatever the format of the image. We can say PNG or any kind of image you upload. Great, right? So now we need to upload the upload byte is zoomable. Click that storage riff is basically come from here. File is basically come from here. Great. So now let's go back again here and we need to run this upload task right here. So what I'm going to do, let's copy all of this. Let's copy that. And we need to just paste that in here, just like that. Let's make it a little bit easy to read. And I'm going to remove all of this command. And I don't need to use this switch. You can use that if you want. And basically, here we need to set the progress into the progress that come from here. All right. And also we have the error here and we can set the error into error just like that and also i'm going to remove all of this let's make it easy to read we can get the download url come from the firebase storage and also what the next yeah we need to this download url is basically the link that we have right for example um let me try to showing you here Let's go back and I'm going to refresh. Let's upload file. I hope this is going to be work. I'm going to click upload. And after a couple seconds, as you can see here, we get the link. As you can see here, file available at this link. When I click, it should be showing the image. Great. If I refresh this storage, it should be have images and then one file inside the images folder as you can see we have the images folder and inside the images folder we have this file here as you can see this is basically the uid dot format image great everything working perfectly fine and now what we need to do is put this link into the url that we put here okay the url that inside the state so i'm gonna do set url into download url nice so let's make it a little bit easy to read and here we go um i'm not sure where is the close tag here um yeah i think like that all right everything looking really great let's save that and uid if have a this UID get our some warning because we don't get the type. So let's install the type first. npm install dependency types UUID. All right, it's done. And as you can see, the error is should be gone. Nice. So now you can say npm run dev again. Let's try to upload another image. I'm going to say Hinata 3. I'm going to click upload. And it should be done right and if i refresh we should be able to see two image here but as you can see we not handle any loading or any kind of uh progress here so i think as you can see we have two image i think the better way is to uh let's try to get the progress into the upload form so we can grab that here the progress and now we can add the class name here styling so i'm going to use backtick let's do that and i'm going to wrap everything here and also i'm going to say if the progress have a value i'm going to add another class here the progress here is basically a number so i'm going to put that into the boolean function here i'm going to wrap that so we get a boolean value 
And then in here, I'm going to say loading a class like that. So now let's try that again. If I want to upload this uh, image, let's click upload. And as you can see, we have the loading here. And then it should be, oh, they're still loading because I think we don't set the progress after we get the URL here. So let's do that here. We are going to set the progress back to zero here, I think, right? So I think we don't need to import URL. And let's go back. Uh, I'm going to also add a disable. Disable it should be true if uh, there's no selected file. Great. So let's put the selected file. If the selected file is empty, it should be disabled. Let's refresh that again. And I'm going to select this image, click upload. And as you can see, uh, wait, there's, oh yeah, there's working, right? If I do Hinata 2, let's upload. Great. I think it's working. So now let's see here. Of course, we get a lot of image. Great. So what we need to do next is I'm going to enable the Firestore database because we need to store this image here into the Firestore. So let's click Firestore and let's enable the feature. Oh, what is this? This project is set up use Cloud Firestore in database mode. So I think we need to just click this and change that to the. Uh, let's see here what we have. Let's click this switch native mode. I'm going to switch the mode and it should be done. Just a couple seconds. You can see if I refresh and it should be showing the native version, which is the simple thing here. And yep, let's refresh and hopefully this is, oh, yeah, this one. Great. Let's go back. And what we need to do is basically uh, let's go to the documentation and let's go through the Firestore. Let's go back to the Firestore here and click get started. Let's scroll down and what we need to do, let's import the get Firestore come from Firebase slash Firestore. And we need to initialize the app inside the get Firestore. Right, let's copy this. Let's go back to the config inside the Firebase. Let's paste that in here. We need to import the get Firestore come from Firebase slash Firestore. And also we need to export the DB here, just like that. Let's close that. And let's see how we can add data into the Firebase Firestore. We are going to use add a dog function to store data into the Firestore. So let's go back to the use storage because we need to store the data here into the Firestore inside the use storage, right? So after we set the progress progress here down here, we need to store data into let's say into Fire store. So in here, I just want to copy this thing here. Let's copy that and paste that right here. As you can see, this is a wait. So we need to add a sync keyword right here, like that. And wait, it's still not working. Uh, I hope that's because we don't yet import the add doc. The await operation are only allowed with an async function and at the top level of model. Oh yeah, that's because here we're using dot then. So we need to use, we need to change this with async await. So here I'm going to create a variable call. Let's do download URL. Let's do download URL so that it goes to await for this get download URL like so. Right. And of course, we need to get rid of this everything here, but make sure I'm going to put this outside the 
put then here and i'm going to also put the set url and set progress outside the get download url dot then here because i'm going to remove that like so great now the await is working and also we are going to uh import the collection come from firestore db come from the firebase config and also the name of the collection i'm going to create images like so and the data that we need to store is basically image url let's do image url it's basically come from the download url here right so i think we don't need to use set url now <laughs> let's just remove that and yep we set the image url to download url and also we need to create it at create let's do create at into new date here let's do new date like that and also here i'm going to store the user email let's say user email it should be come from the user that log in so here we need to get the cons cons we grab the user come from use out right like so and if i put the user here it should be working you can say user dot email great so let's just try to console log user so just make sure the user is available let's refresh and as you can see here we have the user and this email here we need to store into the fire store which is right here great everything look working and what we need to do next next thing is we need to try to see when i try to upload image it should be have new collection here with all the data right here let's try i'm going to upload file this one here let's click upload it should be loading here and done and let's see let's refresh this website the moment of true let's see how it's gonna be look like i hope we see images no <laughs> we don't see anything here guys what is going on permission we have something wrong with the permission let's go back to the rule oh, yeah i think we need to change this to if true okay so it is allowed to read and write if user login so let's publish and see how it work so let's go back here and refresh and hopefully now it should be work i'm going to click this image click upload and i hope there's no error nice let's see here and i'm going to go back to data and as you can see guys we have the images as a collection and we have created at image url and user email really really cool and yeah that's pretty cool and the next thing what we need to do is let's showing the data into the image gallery component in down here right let's go back here and i'm going to click the read data and see i'm going to click the get real time updates and let's scroll down basically what we are going to use is let's see we're going to use this one here i think but i'm going to create hooks called use firestore so let's create a file here called use firestore.ds and i'm gonna say rrfce and of course we don't need to return any jsx in here we need to just return our object and here i'm going to create a state so i'm gonna say cons i'm gonna give a name docs and set docs so that equals to use state by default i'm gonna say empty array right and this docs here is basically half a type image right and this image should be inside that array we don't have the image yet so let's create up here so i'm gonna do type call 
image so that equals to i want to say create create add let's do create add uh, it's going to be type date and also we have user email it's going to be string and also we have the image url and this should be a string as well great and we are going to create another state here it's going to be called uh i'm going to call this is loading let's say is loading and the function it should be set is loading right and it's going to be boolean let's do boolean and also the default value i'm going to set that to true great so here i'm going to returning dots and also the is loading all right so inside in here i'm going to create a use effect this use effect here will be run every time the collection name change let's say collection name collection name is basically props inside this use firestore so we can say collection name it should be string like so all right so inside the use effect here i'm going to create a function called get data and say get data set equals to arrow function and this is going to be async with function so we can say async like that and we are going to use try and catch here try and down here i'm going to say catch we get the error and then down here i just want to console log the error or we can say maybe console error dot error just like that let's go back to the documentation and i think we need to just copy everything here let's just copy that and paste that right here all right so let's see what we have so we need to import query come from firestore collection come from firestore wait what i'm doing wrong db come from the config and also this is basically the collection name so we are going to get that from this props here so let's copy paste that here right and i'm going to remove all of this let's remove that nice what i'm going to do i'm going to say comma i'm going to say order by i'm going to order by create add so we can say read at like so and also i'm going to use this scanning that's mean the the last image that you upload it should be the first time you see in here all right and also use snapshot we need to import that as well this city here is basically should be images right and also what the next thing this is going to be images and we need to uh let's just remove this console and what we need to do is this images here is basically have a type called image inside the array like that and also down here we need to say set docs into the images great so now let's run this get data function down here we can say get data like so all right so now we can go back to the image gallery and we can run the use firestore here so now i'm going to say cons we get the let's see what we have we get the oh this one we get the docs here right we return it here so we can use that right here so we can say docs should be come from the use firestore so we can say use firestore and no it should be the name it should be use firestore like so let's just copy this paste that here the name should be right and also i'm going to get collection images here all right so let's console log the docs so let's see how what we have here um we get the 
empty here. So let's see to use Firestore. And basically, I just want to console log the doc dot data like so. So let's refresh. Uh, we cannot see anything. Let's see. I uh, just want to console log again here. Console log docs. Uh, we still got the empty array. Um, I think let's just remove this console and we are going to say image dot post dot data. Um, what we have still, oh, we still get the empty. What we're doing wrong here. I think the problem is in, in this name here, create add. Let's uh, try to remove this. And when I save, as you can see here, we have the data. The problem is the name of the create add is a typo here, right? So let's fix that. I'm going to use this. Uh, oh, yeah, that's typo here. Let's copy, paste that right here. And also, we are going to go back to use storage. And here, we need to use created add, right? And also, I'm going to remove everything. The collection here. Let's do images. Let's click delete, right? It should be gone. And let's do that again. I'm going to upload another image. Let's click upload. And as you can see here, we have the data. We have the image URL, created add, and the user email. Great. So now, what we need to do. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove this and I'm going to create variable call. Let's do cons image URL set that equals to I'm going to say doc dot data like so. And I'm going to access the image URL like so. And also down here, let's do that with the created ad. So we can say created ad and this is going to be created at and also I'm going to change that to to date here right and also it is going to be the user email and we are going to get that from user email just like that and down here we need to say images dot push we are going to push this object here which is image URL the created ad and also the user email like so all right and after we get the data we need to set the is loading back to false great and also if we have some error i need to set the is loading also back to false nice so I think what we need to do next is I'm going to clean up uh, this unsubscribe. So let's do let unsubscribe. Uh, this unsubscribe here is basically have a type function that returning void. Just like that. Right. And also down here, uh, I think we need to just remove these cons. And down here, what we need to do is i'm going to return let's say arrow function if the collection not collection but unsubscribe have a value we need to run the unsubscribe like so it should be clean up the function here so now we can go back to image gallery and these docs here i'm going to change the name into images and also we can get the is loading now. Great. And here I'm gonna check if the is loading is true. I'm going to returning uh let's say div here. Let's say div, and inside this div I have the progress. So let's see in the this UI, and I'm going to looking for progress. This progress here, let's click that. And I'm going to use this one here. Let's just copy that and put that right here inside the div. And this div here is basically have a class name. The text it should be inside the center. And also the margin top, I'm going to set that to 10. The width here, I'm going to change that to maybe, maybe it's fine. So let's see what we have. 
and I'm going to set that to true. Let's see. All right, here we go. It's pretty nice. Let's uh, see here, and I'm going to basically map through the, all the images here. So we can say images dot map. We grab the individual image, and here we need to return this card. All right, nice. Uh, we have some warning because we don't have unique key. So let's put key here. The key is basically I'm going to say image dot uh, image URL. The error is should be gone. So now let's put the image into the source here. So we can say image dot as a dot image URL and also upload by here. I'm going to put the image dot user email and also create it on here i'm going to do image dot read that like so you get some warning here data is not standable to type react note yet that's because here i'm going to say dot to local i'm going to say to local edit string like like that all right, so as you can see, guys, we get the image really cool. Let's refresh that again and we get the loading and then we get the image. Great. So now let's upload another image. I'm going to upload this Hinata 2. I'm going to upload and we are going to get the loading and then we get the image right here. All right, nice. And we are going to fix the gap here, I think, gap 4. I think this width here it should be full. Let's say full. Here we go. Nice, look pretty cool. And also, what I'm gonna do is uh, for the figure here, I'm going to add the class name called the Maximal Hake. I'm gonna set that to let's do 15 RAM. Right? Let's save and see. Nice. And I'm going to upload another image. Let's do this doc, upload that. And as you can see, this is uploaded by chan, chan.com, chanchan.com. And I'm going to open this app here to another browser. Here we go. Let's uh, open that. And here I'm going to log in with maybe, I don't know, let's say john at mail.com. And the password is random. I'm gonna sign up and oh the email is already in use so i'm gonna say john 2 let's sign up and hopefully all right here we go we log in now and as you can see we see three image that john is upload right here really cool let's see how the application pass or not so now as you can see i'm logging with uh, another account and as a john to i'm going to choice file and i'm going to click hinata 3 i'm going to upload and see what we have great it's pretty fast as you can see this right here and also right here is upload by john at mail.com great so let's upload another uh, image this one let's upload right here and also right here great and uh chan it should be want to upload another image let's do upload and it should be here right here right upload by chan chan great i think the application is work perfectly fine and there's a lot of feature that you can add in this project guys basically the first feature is basically the login page we don't have the login page in this project that because i don't want to give you a lot of information in this one video you can add a uh, sign in road and add a uh, login page here and also inside at this home here maybe you can add the the list of the user and if you click the user you can see all the images that this user upload there's a lot of things that you can add in this project and hopefully this is the best starting point that you want to get if you want to just starting out with react and firebase so hopefully this is helpful guys and see you in the next one